everyone, it's Karen Baker and I'm here with another how to construct video and this time I'm showing you how to construct the new release which is the concertina index box. Now this is really exciting. Um, when I saw it I thought oh it's concertina and then I thought accordion folds and as I do play a few instruments I do play the accordion I thought you know what I'm going to create an accordion with this set now you get the main body of the die um, the main body of the shape rather which is this die you'll need one per pocket and then you've got the index tabs you've got some beautiful decorative elements you've got your tabs for the top um, you've got all sorts of different titles so that you can add tags or you can add elements within with the index recipe special things um, memories um, what's this one here um, dates so you can see it's gonna be super super useful and I know the girls have created some amazing samples so I'm just going to show you what I've created okay it is a little accordion where the handle and the keyboard we've got special things there and using some magnets we can open it and then you've got all the elements inside to tuck whatever you want to do. So that is what we're going to have a go at creating. And I'm going to walk you through how to actually use the dies to create the individual pockets too. So that you really know all the basics and then you can get go with creating. Right, so let's get started. So to start off with and make the individual um, pockets, you're going to need one per pocket. It's really easy to fold. Now there are different ways of treating the pockets once you've put them together. Um, I'm actually gonna fold it up how I used it for my accordion die, but I do need to just run through really quickly how you would use it in different um, methods. So if you're going to use it so that once you've got your pocket all together, you have this little bit here, so you would have the main pocket like that and this is sticking to the bottom because once you put them together you might want to actually put a base and you're just going to put glue along. Then you would have that little bit sticking down like that. If you're wanting to do it so that it's like a fan shape you can actually um, open them up um, and they're secured at the bottom then you may want to use this die here uh, which actually puts two little holes in, all you would do is pop your die centrally like that, put some low tack tape on and then run it through your die cutting machine and then you can end up with holes which you can thread ribbon through, twine, whatever you want to do. There is actually another die which actually puts holes through, puts a whole lot more holes through which you could then use it like a book this way and you could actually have different uh, methods of binding. But the way I'm going to do it is slightly different because I wanted a flat bottom but I didn't actually want to put a base. So instead of doing it that way around what we're going to do is we're actually going to have this going as a mountain fold and then two valley folds so you end up with this sort of and I'm sorry it's black so it's going to be a challenge for you to see but hopefully you can see there it's going to be like that let me just give it a bit of a crease and then all you're going to do is you're going to fold these bits in here so either side of the tab on the front I've got tape on uh, just for quick and for ease. So that's going to be like that. And then all we're going to do is we're going to fold both sides exactly the same. You're gonna have uh, one mountain fold, a valley fold, a mountain fold. Put it down there so it's nice and slug. Again, exactly the same. So you end up with this and this one here are going to go together. So it's nice and easy. Again, you probably are going to want to use probably wet glue if you know you, there's going to be a lot of movement in it because the wet glue will give you a stronger hold ultimately. So just match the top edges up there, match the bottom edges. Okay. So that's how that goes on that side and then do exactly the same on the other side. So you're just matching edge corner to corner, take it down, match this corner like that. 
So you end up, that's how you've got it. Now, if you're putting it like that, then you would have your little elements there. But I actually wanted it flat, but that gave me a slight problem because I've got this fold here. So all you need to do, really simple, is just fold it, get your fingers, and push your fingers down slightly. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm literally pressing either side, and I'm pressing against that little edge from the side. And what that does, and again, it's gonna be hard to see, but that actually just gives you like two little triangle points there, which means that when I get my scissors and I follow the crease points that I've just made, very, very easy. So you're just cutting a little triangle into here. So what that means is I can now close it so that it will close flat. So if I wanted to stack a load of these together, they will go completely flat, but they will still stand up by themselves. So that's what we're doing. That's your basic element. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to create however many you want. I actually just used five. And all you would do is using some glue, you're just going to stick one next to the other and create as large or small as you want. The beauty of this is it will fold and secure itself together really slim. So if you wanted a small box, but you wanted lots of different um, little pockets, then it's easy to do. So we've done that. Now, I said you didn't need to do lots of uh, scoring and folding and actually the dies in the set we're gonna create all of the elements for you. Now, before we go on to create the piano, the key bit, all I'm gonna do is add the little decoration bits. Now, let me just find my die, which is here. This is one of the most useful dies in the set. These are the dies that are going to give you the detail for the inside. Okay, so there's two of those. So if you want a, a dashed effect, you can get that, but this one just produces a solid um, long rectangle. So I've got my other piece here. The cardstock that I'm using is the Silky Sky Satin Mirror Card. Okay, so it is a lovely, lovely card, and that's what I've used to do my decoration with. So what I'm gonna do, is stick the final one and these could be lovely I mean you could do different ones right come on glue decided to use and there we are decided to use a new glue and I've not used it before it would probably have been a good idea if I tried it out before I started videoing you can use this um, these elements before you actually put the box together but because it's so simple it was nice and easy to do even after I constructed all the pockets. So if you want it to secure again, just press it down so you know you've got a good hold. And once you've got rid of the extra bits of glue, you've got your lovely decorative elements there. Right, so on to the next bit, the keyboard. Now this is actually much simpler than you would think. Cut yourself another piece, exactly the same as we've done before, but this time all you need to do is get a scoring tool or just use a ruler, and I've scored at one and a half and two from the edge of this side here. So all I need to do then, let me just Fold those. We can um, cut the edge off to make it, but that's going to go underneath. We're going to cut these elements off here. Now, don't get rid of them, keep those bits because we're actually going to use those. So just trim these bits off. And then what we need to do is where we've done our folding, you're just gonna trim little triangles. And the reason for that is we're just creating tabs so it's easier to construct the little keyboard bit. So nice and easy, exactly the same both sides. So we're ready to put it together. What I'll do is I'll just trim this bit off here. So 
So we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. So we're going to be folding this in here. So however we started doing the pocket, you're going to be doing the same again. So all we need to do now, fold the tabs in. Like that. And we're just going to take it. So if you fold it over like this, sometimes this is where it's probably helpful to glue this down first and it just gives you a better idea of where we're heading. So this bit here is going to be glued down just there you go so you're gluing that bit there so we're creating the little box so now all we need to do is glue these together so we're going to put the tab on like that so put a little bit of glue don't worry about it not being very secure because we're actually going to be putting um, a little part of the piece we've just cut off so what you do then is you'll wait for that to dry should have put some tape on with this really there we go this is where speed crafting doesn't always work terribly well okay well you get the idea so we'll do it both both ways you can put a little bit of glue on the edge because there's a slight overlap and put the tabs together right so i'll wait till it's finished it's glued and then i'll show you the next bit so now it's glued, we just need to secure this little bit here, which just means it'll just stay together a little bit better. So using the little bits that we actually cut off from the side of the uh, piece we die cut, we're gonna want both of those pieces. And if you wanna use a trimmer to make a neater job, that's fine, I'm just doing it quickly. So we'll dispose of the edge bit, so we need these two bits here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop those on like that, and that's just gonna hide the mess of the tabs. So put a little bit of glue on. And again, you're gonna want for this to dry before you go on to the next bit. So we're gonna stick it on both sides and then we're gonna trim it at the bottom. I'll just trim it for you so you can see and then I'll wait for the glue to dry and we'll go on to the next step. So both sides are glued. Now all we need to do is glue this to that part there. So again, we want some more glue. And what we want to do is we want to push it so that we've got it more or less in line, these two edges here. So we're just gonna pop it like that. And that gives us our basic shape that we're gonna get all ready now to decorate. So again, leave that to dry. I'll put that aside and I'll get the one that I've already uh, made a start on. Now here's the shape. Okay, if you wanna add a little bit of glue to the edges to help them stick, do that. This little piece here, again, comes into its own because we've die cut white and black cardstock. Now don't forget about the other piece that you chopped off the edges of because we're actually going to use this. Um, I use this, this is part of the uh, accordion where you actually create a richer sound with the keyboard so I've just used one of these pieces and added a little bit left over from the cutouts with this die here so what you're going to do is get lots of pieces of white if you're not sure how it goes for the keyboard google um, it's a case of two black keys a space and then three black keys so you pop it on like that Trim it off, don't worry if it's not super neat on the top. We've actually got this little bit here which is gonna hide all of that. So all we need to do now is just add the little uh, black keys. So you pop those in between. Just try and line them up at the bottom so it does look nice and neat. And on to the last one. Okay, so we've got our keyboard all ready to go. Then we just need to put on this top bit here. You could put it on foam pads if you wanted. I'm just gonna put it so it's flush. I think I'll have it that way around. There we go. So that's our basic keyboard, nice and easy. Then for the fretwork, which you'll often find on accordions, we've used some of the dies that come with the kit this gorgeous floral uh, part of the die, and you've got the outer, which of course you can use 
to decorate. Normally I'm using it in a slightly different way. So I've just cut it out like this and I'm gonna pop it on there. So again, more gluing. If you wanna cut out intricate dies like this with double-sided adhesive already um, stuck onto the back of the cardstock, it doesn't half make this little bit easier. And it'd also help if you um, put a slightly larger hole in your glue. Right, there we go. So I'll just do it quickly, give you an idea. So we're going to put that centered like that. Don't worry about getting little bits of glue, you can just remove them and it will dry clear anyway. I'm trying to do this so it's nice and level. Okay. So we've got our fretwork and then I just cut out with some of the dies. You've got all sorts of different um, things. You've got like recipes, dates. Um, I've just got special things and I'm just gonna put that on there. So it gives the idea um, of what is actually in when you give it to the recipient. So I'll pop that on like that. Now we just need to pop it all together and add the magnets. So to put it all together, Take your main part, and I'm actually gonna hide this. Um, I wanted the solid part of there to give a little bit of uh, solidity to the flap and the handle. So I'm actually going to use, you can see which part I've used of the shape. I've just used the top part like that. So I'm gonna stick that over there because that's going to be where my handle is going to go. So put a little bit of glue around this part here. We're actually gonna hide it with the keyboard part at the end. Let's make sure I've got that on like that. And then we're just going to line it up and make sure that the fold goes over the top there. So once you've got it in place, give it a good press. And again, make sure You've left it to dry. Make sure it lines up nice and neatly so that you know you've got a good um, clean part. So it's all you go. So the fold is actually lining up with the corners there. Right, so this little bit here is going to be the bit where we actually put the magnets and we put the handle. So the best thing to do is to actually do the magnets first because then we know how much safe, how much space we've got to actually put our handle. So I've just got some magnets, very, very inexpensive, <laughs> sticking the pencil to them, very, very inexpensive. These ones are great because they're very thin, so they don't create too much bulk in your final um, project. So what I've done is um, I've got my um, double-sided tape already there, and I've also got a piece, just an old piece that I've actually used for something else. I've actually got a piece there which is going to slot into the back like that. So I've already stuck, um, whoops, I've already stuck one of the magnets down there. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to make sure that when I put my magnet in, I need to make sure I've got the magnet in the right place on the top. So first of all, get your magnets. Now the reason I haven't put both in is I thought I'd show you a nice little easy trick. Put your magnet so that they stick together. Obviously one side's gonna repel, one side's gonna attract. Take your tape off and then take it, slide it off and you're gonna to want to put it upside down. So the bit like that, you're gonna to wanna to put it there. Okay, try and line these up. Okay, so I know now those are both facing the same way. And then all I'm going to need to do is stick this little bit here on the inside. Just try and do this quickly for you. So I'm gonna line that up on the inside here, making sure that you can't see it and give it a good press. Now I'm gonna to need to find the other magnets. So let me get my magnets, which have just conveniently disappeared <laughs> somewhere. If anybody can see them, oh, they are, there you go. So I need two more magnets. Now I'm gonna put them on it's only gonna go one way, there you go. So you know now that your magnets are in the right place. So when I put this there like that, 
I know that it's actually going to stick on nice and in the correct place. So take these bits off here. and center that part there, making sure that you press down with the edge so you know that it's all nice and centered. And pop that on there, give it a press from underneath, and when I take those magnets off like that, I know that they're in exactly the right place. So all I need to do now is cover the inside of that. So I've got another piece, a die cut piece, which I trimmed out. What I forgot to say was the flap over the top, this bit here, which I use as that, that needs to be scored in at an inch. So I forgot to tell you that. So all I need to do now is just add a little bit more tape just to make sure these are really nice and secure. And then we're just gonna put the matching part on to hide the magnets. Okay, and when that goes over then, it's nice and neat for the magnets. Uh, to do their job. Right, so the final bit is just to add the handle and the keyboard. So this is just a piece uh, four and a half by about one inch and um, this is just over half an inch um, taken in at the side, scored, and I've just put two little holes that I've just poked through. Then all you need to do is opening it up then, we need to make sure that we've got that centered. So you're gonna pop it on and you're going to get a pencil and line up exactly where you want it to be. Mark with a pencil. I've done it too wide because I want to create a curved handle. You're gonna mark it on there. And then if I can see where I've marked, just gonna poke through and poke through there. All we need to do is add some of the brads through. So pop our brads. Okay, there's one. And then the second brad goes through. This is the slightly trickier one. You're just gonna have to feel your way and then just open up the legs. There we go. Just a little bit of feel. There we go, so that's the handle. That's the top there. There we go. And so all we need to do now is just pop this on. And this would be going with the keyboard that way. So just glue this up. And there we have our little accordion, accordion box. Let it dry. And then there's all sorts of things you can pop in there. Obviously you've got tabs that is part of the set. Um, I've just cut that tab off. I wanted a contrast between the main parts and the tab. Those will go in there. You can pop your tabs in. You can do all sorts of things, put all sorts of things in there. And because you've got a little bit of space on the top, your tabs are not gonna affect the opening and closing of the box. If you do have any problem with that, you can always take a few little centimeters off the bottom. So there we go. That's my little accordion box using the dies. We can't wait to see what you create with the release. Uh, don't forget to tag Tonic on our Facebook page or on social media, and we can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.